Hey guys, Grady here. So, going on another nature walk. Pretty hot out here, but that's pretty typical, of course, for it to be pretty darn hot. Um, so, you guys probably saw part of the really long nature walk and the um, Labor Day nature walk. So, yeah, I filmed both of those, you know, over a week ago, well, last week for the Labor Day walk. Um, this week's, it's just me and Robert here right now. So, yeah, um, I just thought I'd appear on camera just to let you guys know, you know, how I'm doing. I am doing really well. I am living a good life. I, I am happy, but what I'm going to talk about is my freedom. So, I'm a U.S. citizen. I was born and raised in the United States, but I do not care about my freedom or about the US flag. So before before you guys, you know, lose your minds, lose, excuse my language, but lose your shit or flip your shit, before you guys do any of that, I want to make myself perfectly clear why I do not care about my freedom. The reason why I do not care about my freedom is the hyperbole. Let's call hyperbole what it really is. It's just flat out lying. And I'm not about to vote for freedom. My freedom got other people killed. So you have to understand that I will not vote for things that are going to get people killed. The real US Americans got killed for my freedom and for my family's freedom. The US American flag killed native US Americans and I'm not about to, you know, support that. That's just cruel and horrible. I don't know why anybody would be supportive of that. People were so upset last year when that guy, don't remember what his name was, um, when he defied the US flag. So many people were upset. I congratulated him. I was like, you know, well done. I'm, I'm glad you did that. You guys have to understand that racism is a real thing and it's not a joke. It's not anything funny. It's a serious issue, a real serious issue. And Trump is not helping to stop that. You guys have to understand that Trump is not helping. I would rather be living under oppression, honestly, than have my freedom. Knowing what it did to people, I would much rather not have freedom. I'm being serious. They can take our, my freedom away, I wouldn't care. I'd be happier that way, honestly. In general, I am happy. Not as happy as I would like to be, though. I don't support murder of any kind. Of, uh, under any circumstances. We need to be peaceful all the time, 24-7, or else we're never going to get anything done in this world. That's just the way it has to be. We have to be peaceful. We have to always be nice to other people. And I'm not, you know, I'm not going to sit here and just be like, oh yeah, you know, it's, it's, um, it's funny to make jokes like this. Certain things we don't joke about or even talk about because they're, they're just not funny. They're not. You know, I've seen like videos where people are trying to, you know, do parodies of other people. And I'm like, you know, this isn't funny. This is just really mean and insensitive. And it is, it is. It's really, really insensitive and it's cruel and people shouldn't do it. If you're not a funny person, don't try and make a joke because then when you hear it over and over and over and over again, it becomes redundant and then it's definitely not funny. And it makes you, honestly, it makes you sound like an idiot. It does. It makes you sound like an idiot. 
makes you sound like you don't know what you are talking about and makes you sound like you're just talking smack. I'm not saying this to be mean and I'm not calling any of you, any of my subscribers, idiots, but you know, you should not make jokes like that. Like, for example, if you were to, you know, make a sports joke, you know, that's, that's pretty funny, you know, but just some jokes, and I'm not saying any of you guys do this, but some jokes just aren't funny. Some jokes are racist or offensive. Those jokes definitely are not funny. Like, you know, it's, it's horrible. Horrible that people make jokes like that. I don't make jokes like that. Are you crazy? I would never do that. Never. I can understand why people would do it. So, you know, I understand that. But it's not cool or funny. And I, you know, this is part of what our freedom gave us. This is another reason I just don't care about my freedom or my country's flag. I, I want a native, a native flag, okay? I want a flag that honors native U.S. Americans that has, you know, like a totem pole artwork on it. In fact, I, I have a customer. She's a regular customer of mine. I've known her for months now. I'd say I've known her for a year now. Um, over a year. She, um, she shops at my store. She's fully Native American. She loves talking to me, and I said to her, you know, that for those of you who do live in the United States and Canada, and certain parts of Canada, I'm sure you know about this too, there's the mountain called Mount Rushmore. Now, I have no problems with Mount Rushmore itself, or the fact that it's in South Dakota, but I do have problems with the fact that they put the Founding Fathers on there, as well as Abraham Lincoln. Now, you guys say whatever you want about, you know, Abraham Lincoln ended slavery. Well, he did, but he did nothing to stop the abuse towards the native U.S. Americans. Nothing. He's still a horrible, horrible person. He was still a horrible person. You know, I, I'll defend him on the fact that he abolished slavery, that he, you know, put his foot down and said, no, we're not going to treat black people like this. But he did nothing to stop the native abuse. Not, not one thing. Not one thing at all. And I think that, you know, other people feel the same way. I would never, if I had constructed, you know, if I had helped to construct Mount Rushmore, I never would have put it in South Dakota. Highly Native American state, Dakota is a Native American term. Other American states and provinces have Native American terms like Alaska, for example, or Manitoba, or Saskatchewan, Nunavut, um, Wyoming. Let's see, what's another one? Uh, some of Minnesota, that sounds Native American to me. Um, Sarasota, that's in Florida. Pensacola sounds Native American. Toronto, that's a city in Canada. These are all like, you know, Native American terms. Some of them, you know, they might be other languages, but they sound Native American. Why would you put anything not having to do with that in a place like that? There's also North Dakota. There's nothing that I know of that's like Mount Rushmore in North Dakota, but then again, I've never been to North Dakota. Check it out, guys. It's a nice day out. I've never been to North Dakota, so I can't say anything about that. But again, this is a problem I have with our freedom. Now, I'm, I don't blame you guys for wanting your freedom, but it should not be at the expense of other people's lives. That is not what freedom is. Now look here. These are the aspen trees, so we've got them um, changing color right there. You can see there's green and yellow. They're starting to change now. It's early September. Um, 
and it's almost fall, it's not quite fall. Fall does not officially start until the 20th, 21st or 22nd. They change it up every year. Um, so it's almost fall, it's really late summer, it's still pretty damn hot. Excuse my language. It's still pretty hot for the most part. Um, and, um, you know, it's, it's unbearable, but, you know, that's not on topic. I really don't care about my freedom, though. What I care about is that the Native Americans, anywhere in America, I don't care which country, island, or territory, they all need their rights. They all need it. And I had a customer yesterday, you know, she said something about real Americans. And she, then she said Native American. And I said they are real Americans. And she said she would take a kneel in front of the flag as well to stop suppression towards any minority group. And I said I would gladly do that too. And so, you know, I don't see Donald Trump doing that. I don't see really any of the presidents doing that. I never saw Obama do that. I'm not saying, you know, that Obama is a bad person for not doing that. Obama did a lot of really good things. Trump's just screwing everything up. He's making everything worse for everyone. Robert, Robert. Gosh, it's okay, buddy. Come on. Sorry guys, I stepped on him again. He got underfoot, but that's my fault. I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, oh I'm sorry, Robert. Um, but anyways, guys, this is just how I feel. You uh, Listen when I tell you this. You all have the right to your own opinion. We can discuss, you know, I've, you, you guys might know, not know this. I'm a socialist, but I'm not a, dirty socialists, shall we say. There are there are socialists who are actually very good people. I'm one of those people. I believe in peace for everybody. I don't believe in killing anybody. You know? Do I believe in taking people down? Yes, but killing them? No. Taking them down in a very peaceful manner, of course. Being, you can stand up for yourself, you know, be strict, but don't be violent. Like yesterday, you know, my managers were talking to me and they were saying, you know, things like that I need to improve on, but that I'm a really great worker. But they were being strict, but not violent. They did not yell. They just used an authoritative voice. And that's what I am telling you. If you are an advocate for Native American rights or for any rights for any Native person, whether they're Native Asian, Native European, Native African, Native Australian, wherever in the world, or just rights in general for all people or all animals, you need to speak up for that. You need to stand up for what is right. You need to say to people, you know, this is not right to go around abusing them. But because it's not, you know, it's, it's not, I don't, you know, my freedom, that's what my freedom did. My freedom abused other people. It did. It abused other people. Ooh, there's a bee. I love the bees. I love it when the bees come around. I know a lot of you guys are not big fans of bees because they sting, but in reality, we need the bees around. You know, a lot of Bees are going extinct. They are, they're extinct. Almost. They are, they're, things are getting bad for the bees. Here's some grass, guys. Here's a nice little, nice little tree. You could just hang out there. If you wanted to. Um, and way over there, if you look, here guys, let me switch hands really fast. Good boy, Robert. Okay. So that, that's the mountain right there beyond that tree. There's the mountain. 
Still no snow on them. We actually have not gotten a snowfall yet. Not yet. Hoping that we will soon. Um, I'd like to get more snow, a lot more snow, as you know, but see, that's another thing that Freedom did. My Freedom took the snow away because my freedom has given people the freedom to just destroy the hell out of planet Earth. And a lot of other countries have been leading off of our example. They have. They have been leading off of our example and doing, you know, dangerous activity like that. It's, it's horrible. It's disgusting. You know, and I'm... That's my biggest concern. Native rights are a big concern for me, but my biggest is saving the planet. And that's why I team up any of you of my subscribers who are Native American or partially Native American or partially Native or fully Native to, you know, wherever, Europe, Africa, Australia, any of the other large land masses. Um, wherever it is, uh, you can count on me to be on your side. I'm not saying I don't side with white people, but I am saying that they have not treated the Native Americans very kindly, or Native people anywhere, even in Australia, you know, uh, in Australia, they've had problems with that, but Australia is a very beautiful country. But a lot of places are beautiful. There are a lot of beautiful areas in the United States. There are a lot of beautiful areas in the rest of America. There are a lot of beautiful areas in the world. But with all that stuff being destroyed, everywhere is becoming less and less beautiful and that's destroying Native America, Native land, Native whether it's Native American land, Native European land, Native Australian land, Native African land, Native Asian land. It's destroying all of it. It's horrible. They're not allowed to use that land anymore for anything. There are Native Americans who live in the Amazon rainforest. Their land is being destroyed. It's awful. But that's what our freedom does. Our freedom causes so much destruction. That's why I don't really care about freedom anymore. I just don't. That's why I don't hang a U.S. flag on my wall because it's the exact contradiction of as to what freedom is. I believe freedom means that we all are treated equally. We are all given the same rights regardless of where we live and all animals and all everything is given the same amount of respect that humans are. But that's not what freedom is or what freedom does. It kills more than it saves. It oppresses more than it actually causes freedom. It's true. I do not feel privileged to live in the United States because if you ask me, they're not united and they haven't been for a very long time and I'm not just saying that just because of Donald Trump you know that that doesn't that doesn't have anything to do with Trump Trump can say you know whatever but it and it wasn't it didn't necessarily have to do with any of our presidents that's just not the way that this country has been run a lot of other countries are a lot more sensible, I have to say, such as Canada, you know, Mexico. I'd say a lot of the countries in Europe, uh, definitely the countries in the United Kingdom, they're, they're a lot more respectful than we are. They are. You know, it's, it sounds weird, but it's, it's very true. It is. It is very true. Hey, Robert. What? What is it? Come on. We're not going down the driveway. Ooh. Careful, buddy. So. 
you know, it's it's been a interesting year with all this stuff going on. You know, the um, the mountains changing and all the come on, Robert, let's go home, bud. The mountains changing, the um, rights, you know, changing for a lot of people. It, but I'm not that surprised. I'm not. I don't get surprised by stuff like that because that stuff totally makes complete and total sense. So you have to understand that, you know, it's what happens. And guys, the battery is almost out on this, so I'm going to exchange it. But don't worry, I will be right back. I'll be right back, I promise. Okay, guys, I'm back. Change the battery. But anyways, guys, it's... You know, it's, it's real weird, all this stuff going on, and, you know, you know, one of the biggest problems I have with Trump is, like, you know, this whole thing with him and Putin, like, do you guys understand that that's going on? Like, it's real weird. It's real weird stuff. Isn't it sort of bothersome to you guys, even in the slightest bit, that Trump is literally telling our allies to back off? but that he wants to buddy up with Putin or with Kim Jong-un. Kim's a horrible person. That's a guy who's had people shot, his own family members shot. And then we have a president sits there and he's saying, oh yeah, you know, he's extremely creative. He's an excellent negotiator. Stop talking, Trump. You don't know, you have no idea what you're getting yourself into. No idea at all. We don't know what's going on over in North Korea. Kim Jong-un is definitely a communist, but he's not a good communist. He's a bad communist. Every communist that I know is the exact opposite of him. They are loving, caring people who actually want to make the world a much better place. Every socialist I know feels the same way. And in fact, the majority of capitalists that I know are the opposite of me. They want to, they don't really care about the planet or how healthy the planet is. They just care about their filthy money. They love Donald Trump, you know, they, they praise him like he's a god. They say, you know, oh, we don't care about racism. We know it's real, but we don't care. Some of them say, racism is just made up and that people are just naturally hateful. Well, while that is true, racism is still real. We need to abolish it completely and permanently. It's not pretty. We're down, walking down the road, guys. It's not funny, you know? Racism is not a laughing matter. It's a very serious, serious topic. You know, and I'm sure that there will be crap underneath this. Oh, racism is so funny. You're not a good person for saying that. Racism is a very serious issue. You know, like, people make jokes about racism. And then, of course, you know, I retaliate with making a joke about, you know, something even more horrible. And they say, you shouldn't talk like that. And I say to them, well... I talk like that if people talk horribly around me because I feed off of that energy and I feed off of that example. That's what people do. They feed off of that example. They don't care to be nice to others if others are just not going to be nice to them or to others around them. I don't, you know, I'm nice to everybody, but if people are just going to be mean, then I'm not going to be nice to other people. That's just the way it works. You either treat people the way you want to be treated or you expect to get zero respect from other people and to basically be treated like worse than dirt, way worse than dirt, like you expect. Like just expect to, you know, not have any respect. I'm not saying people are going to be violent towards you. I would never do that. You know, not even as a very last resort. 
Violence is not cool, okay? It's not. And then when you make jokes about it, that makes the whole thing worse. Stop making jokes about violence. You don't sound professional, you sound uncool. And that's why I'm really gonna stop swearing. Because swearing is not cool either. It's uncool. It doesn't make you sound cool. It just makes you sound like a dummy. Seriously. It's not funny, okay? You know, and just yesterday I was explaining to somebody about how Trump and Kim Jong-un are trying to be friends. And he brings up, you know, and, uh, about how, and I said, you know, about how Kim is a horrible person and he's had his own family member shot and he brings up Kim Kardashian and I say that's not funny and it's not it's not funny you don't do shit like that are you kidding me if it's not relevant it's just some stupid comment you know what like what are you talking about it's not funny <sighs> there's a time when it is funny and then it doesn't become funny anymore and then there's a time where it's just not funny at all and that's something that's really not funny it's a very serious issue come on Robert come on come on um, just stopping here for a minute nice way to take in the breeze look we've got little aspen trees Got more of these pretty aspens. But guys, I'm serious. This is what happens with freedom. Freedom causes all this bad stuff to happen and be said. And you know, when people say that the United States is the home of the free because of the brave, yet when we left Europe, not just England, Europe in general, those people were horrible, horrible people. They brought that exact oppression back with them. What they left Europe to escape, they didn't escape at all because they brought it right with them. We are teaching our children wrong history and we are teaching them nothing but hatred. And you know, it's not, it's, this isn't funny. Like people, you know, they still think it's funny and I'm like, this isn't funny. This is a serious problem. It's a real serious issue. It's real weird. It is, it's real weird. I don't think that, you know, people in this world, especially in the United States, are very educated or very smart. And I, I don't care, you know, if you guys say, well, that's not nice, that's just the truth. Regardless of whether it's not nice or not, you know, people say to not lie. Well, I'm not lying. The majority of people on this planet are not they're not very smart. They're not. You know, and a lot of it has to do with not caring. If you don't care, that means you're not a very smart individual because you don't know what's going on. You're unaware and you're intentionally making yourself unaware. That's not, that's not the right thing to do. It's not, it's not. It's not the right thing to do. That's why I didn't vote for Trump, because he's not smart at all. He's cheated and lied in the past, and he's still cheating and lying as president, and he cheated and lied his way out of being in the military. You know, and that's another thing, too. You guys say that, you know, oh, you're against socialism, and yet you're in the military. The military in the United States is the most socialist aspect that we have of the country. You say it's not. Yeah, it is. It's very socialist. The military is very socialist, which is a good thing. I want a socialist military. I don't want a capitalist military. I don't want a capitalist government. I don't want any of that because that's all just... You know, they tell you that it's good. When they tell you that, they're just saying their opinion. They're not providing you the actual real facts. And the real facts are that it's not good. It's not, it's not good. It's really not. I don't trust capitalism. Capitalism also causes a huge, this isn't just in the United States for this issue, causes a huge 
massively huge lack of gun control. And that's, that's, that is not funny. You know, people will make jokes about, oh yeah, I'm gonna, you know, shoot you or whatever. Do you realize that talking like that gets you in prison? You even joke about that. You go to jail or prison. That's why I say it's not funny. You guys need to quit joking about that. This is a problem that freedom does. This, this is why I say it's not called freedom. Because, you know, it just allows people... I, If we were not free, I guarantee you a hell of a lot more people... Excuse my language. A hell of a lot more people would be in jail or in prison because they would actually get in trouble and get punished legally and severely punished for their crimes that they committed but they don't and it's because the United States is one of the freest countries in the world and that's a real problem I have with living here I, I hate living in this country I, I can't stand it I don't care I honestly do not care if that offends any of you you say whatever you want you don't know anything about living here about what it really meant for us to come here about what it really did you don't know what you're talking about you don't and you just sound ignorant and arrogant and racist this country is founded off of racism like it or not that's just the honest truth I'm one to accept the truth. I'm one to actually, um, uh, you know, state what's happening and realize that, you know, maybe we've made a lot of mistakes and maybe we just don't want to face those mistakes because maybe we, as white people, think, oh yeah, you know, everybody else is stupid. We're the absolute most powerful people in the world. Well, the reality is, is that that could not be further from the truth. We are some of the weakest people in the world. It's true. It's very true. White people, especially in the United States, have a much lower IQ than people in Africa, Asia, and native Australia. It's true. It sounds weird, but it's true. I'm not making this up, you know, but I'm not saying white people are, you know, stupid. I'm not saying that. White people are smart, but they need to, you know, think before they speak. That's a problem that everybody has sometimes. Everybody. Doesn't matter what your skin color is, everybody has that problem. However, there have been recent studies done that have shown that it's a more of an issue in white people than it is in any other skin color. You know, and it's just real weird. It's really weird. Come on, Robert, come on, let's run. Come on. It is, it's really weird. But, you know, it's, it also does not help when, you know, we make fun of other people you guys think that's actually a fun thing to do? Do you know what happens to people like that? They, the ones who make fun of people, they're the ones who end up on the streets. Because every time you say something negative to somebody, that just makes them stronger and stronger with each and every day, or each and every year or whatever, that stuff like that is said to them or about them. It happens all the time. It does. It happens literally all the time. You know, I've had a lot of hateful things said about me. It's made me a much stronger person. Much more. You know, and I love being who I am. I would not change one thing about me. But I'm not saying this to be hateful. I'm saying this to be truthful. The truth is, is that most people on this planet are not very smart and they're not very nice either. They're really mean and they're really... I'm not going to say that they're stupid. I'm not, because that's just a really... That's not a very... That's a re really mean word to say. They're, I'll say that they are uneducated, but they're not stupid. 
they're not. Some people are, and I'm not talking about people who are like severely mentally disabled. They're actually, those people are some of the smartest people in the world. Um, but I'm just talking about like the decisions they make. Like Donald Trump. Donald Trump is stupid, okay? Kim Jong-un is stupid. But I don't wish these people dead. Because that's just horrible. No, I'm not a religious person. When I say that, I'm just saying that out of truth. I don't wish people dead. Talk about being horrible. You know, and that's the problem that I have with a lot of people is that they do wish other people dead. Or that they wish them, you know, horrible things. That's not cool. It's not cool. You guys need to stop doing stuff like that and stop making jokes. This is what has happened with our supposed freedom. It's caused all this negativity, all this hatred, everything bad you could think of came out of freedom that we supposedly have. And I'd be fine if that got taken away. I would be completely fine with that. I would not want it any other way, in fact. That's the honest truth. I really don't want any more, any more nonsense like this to go on. So, I am a U.S. citizen. I do not care about my freedom. I have friends that are U.S. citizens, and I have friends that are not U.S. citizens, okay? I have friends that live in other countries. And I have family that lives in other countries. Come on, Robert. Come on. Um, that's the honest truth, and, I'm, and I don't feel bad about saying it, nor will I ever regret saying what I just told all of you. I won't regret it because it's the truth, and if you regret the truth, it's a big mistake. I'm not saying you're going to get injured. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, you know, it's hard to realize it after a while. It's a really big mistake. I don't want any of you guys... Oh, sorry, Robert. I don't want any of you guys to ever think that the truth is not really the truth. The truth is always the truth, okay? No matter what other people tell you. The truth is always the truth, and the truth about Trump is that he's not a very educated person, and that he's that he is actually really stupid. All that stuff he says, do you realize that that's all lies? Although I'm not saying, you know, that that's really an excuse, because it's in human nature for people to lie, okay? I, I, I will say you need to quit lying, but at some point, everybody lies. So that's not, you know, that's not really... An excuse that's not the reason I don't like Trump because I know that literally everybody lies like daily people lie I'm not saying everybody lies daily but daily people do lie happens every day it will never not be happening it's it's really you know it's it's just what happens anyways guys that's going to wrap it up for this video, so thank you for watching. Have a peaceful day. I sincerely mean that. Bye.